Hey everyone, it's me, Matthew Montanez, once again here with the Home Pro Shop Bottle Cutter Club. And today I'm actually going to do a quick, easy, simple project for everybody who's just getting their bottle cutter. They can attack this one right away because it's probably one of the easiest ones and it's a little more fancy than just a quick drinking glass or something like that. As always, when you first get started, you need a beautiful bottle cutter like this one that you can get from the Home Pro Shop. Get your base, you unscrew the lock here, and we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna get our bottle. So I got an extra empty Coke bottle that I acquired the other day, I got thirsty, and I bought a Coke bottle. And now it's just kind of been sitting there, so I decided to use it. Why not cut it, right? <laughs> so let's just see how I wanna cut this. Oh! I should mention, we are going to make a candle holder. So this kind of candle holder, instead of the one that we did before, it was a candle globe. This one, we're using these kind of candles. And I actually have these lined around the house. So I wanted to just like, hey, why not just do a quick video, show the fans and the other creators if they can do something as simple as this. So I had a couple problems. Actually, there's like one problem. First thing is I have an extra empty Coke bottle, which is great. But as you can see, the candle doesn't necessarily fit in there. So I'm gonna try a couple different ways here. One, I'm going to try to stick it from underneath, see how it's how much it squeezes through. Or two, I got my uh, nice meat cleaver scissors here that I can just cut it down and put it in at the skinnier edge. But of course that all has to be uh, measured or I can just shave it down a little bit. Either way works. Before you get started, which I started already, but you want to make sure you have hot boiled water on your stove top, it's boiling, and you also want ice cold water. That's very important, it has to be ice cold. If it's not ice cold and it's just from the tap, the water won't be cold enough to separate the score. So make sure you guys are getting your ice cold water. What I like to do is I fill up with the cold tap water, stick in the freezer, and actually just throw ice cubes in there. Um, ice cubes, ice packs, you just, even whatever frozen food you have in your frozen vegetables, just put it on the water and then pull it out real quick when you're ready to use it. It just speeds up the process. So here we go. Let's measure this bad boy. And I don't wanna to cut too much off. So I'm gonna go right above this line here. As you can see on this Coke bottle, it has like a line right here, a groove. And you probably remember that from my old, my other Coke cup. So it has the groove right here. And I'm gonna just go right above that groove and just keep things in line for me. So I'm gonna go right above the groove and that looks really good. Let's just make sure everything's in place. Our base is right against the glass and let's lock that into place. And with a bottle like this, it's kind of long. So you might wanna make sure you get deep enough containers for your water, your cold and hot water. I hope mine are deep enough. I'm gonna try it out. So this is locked in place and we're gonna place our empty bottle on top. And with your left hand, or at least the hand that's closest to the base, you're going to keep it steady and add, just hold it in place, make sure it stays against the base, just so it keeps a nice even score when you rotate the bottle. Your right hand, you're going to grab the bottleneck and you're going to turn it towards you. I guess you can go forward, but I feel like it's a lot easier going towards you when you're rotating your bottle. So here we go. Let's make sure it goes against the um, blade there. And let's score this bottle. Actually, I want to go a little back. I don't feel like it's enough room. So let me measure this one more time. Measure twice, cut once, right? Um, I only have one of these bottles, so I'm hoping this works out on the first shot. Keep your fingers crossed, guys and gals. Let's uh, lock this into place and let's double check that again. Here we go. And it's right above the score. We're going to hold it in place and we're going to reach, rotate towards us. And when you actually land in the groove, you can actually hear it. It does a different kind of grinding sound. You can feel it actually fall in that notch. So I'm gonna double check this score, make sure it has a nice clean score all the way around. It looks really good. There was no jumps, no skips, no hiccups. It doesn't look like there was any extra pressure anywhere else. And you'll be able to tell if you really closely examine it, you'll see like, there'll be like a small chip. That means you put a little too much pressure at that section. You'll see that the score is a little lighter in certain spots and that'll show that you added too much pressure as well. Or too too little pressure I should say so you want to just wipe it one time and then you can just look at that score and if it's a little off go ahead and try to just even it out just a bit and I find a lot of times it helps it really gets the job done so let's see what we can do here so the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna stick this in and let's see how much it goes in and let's see where it stops at okay so you see even with the score I have that much and if you can see inside my bottle which you probably can the tip of it actually comes way down here 
So I scored it here, so I have that much that's going to pop out. So it's like that, past the score. So if I squeeze it, that much, it's a little, a little too much. So let's get the scissor and let's just mark that there. And that just because if I have to cut it, that's exactly where I'll be able to cut this at. There we go, just nice and light and neat there. Let me see, yeah, I got a nice clean marking. In one time and double check that. Measure twice, cut once, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Let's make one more clean little scrape. And I only actually have two of these candles, but I only have one bottle. So if I mess up, I have a second try, everybody. So let's put that down there. And I want to separate this bottle now. And the cool thing why I actually want to do this quick candle holder, because for one, I don't have any candle holders to hold these candles up. I mean, they could stand like that, but it's gonna get everywhere. So at least when these are in here, and it starts melting, it'll go on the bottle and you just put on like a pretty little tray or something and it'll look really, really sweet. So I'm gonna do that. You can even decorate it with beads and things like that. However you wanna do it to make your bottle look nice. All right, let me get my water. All right, everyone, so I'm back. I got my hot boiled water here. You can see the steam as always. I got my ice cold water here. And you know me, I like to start with the cold water first. I don't think it actually matters. Um, but I've had better luck with the cold water first, getting the glass cold and then dipping it in the hot water. And as you can see, my bottle's a little big for this, so I'm just going to tilt it and just twirl it a little bit. And make sure the entire score gets submerged. So you want to just twist it, give it a small twist. So then when we dip it in the hot water, it'll actually um, submerge the score as well. Hopefully it separates the glass. And I decided to do this video, like I said, because not only is it easy, but I like to do simple videos where um, you guys can see what I'm doing. You guys can be like, Matt, 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 Matt. Listen, Matt, this is how you should have did it. But it gives you guys the ideas and you guys get better ideas from just simple projects like this. It really does help. So you guys are like, oh, you can actually make candle holders, but let's, let's take it a bit further. Let's make the candle holder like this. So that's why I like to do these videos. Just go back and forth if it doesn't separate the first time and eventually will. I think yeah, I could even use the bottom part as a little cup holder. What do you guys think? If it separates cleanly, then we can actually see about doing that. Should have got deeper containers, like I said. Well, there's actually another technique which I've seen on separating bottles like this one. They don't fit in the containers. You just pour the water on top of it. So we're gonna go to my sink and we're going to do that right now. So the way we're gonna do this is I'm going to actually just run cold water here. I'm going to hold the bottle from the neck because that's the part I wanna keep intact in case it drops. And let's just run it under here, cold water, and I'm gonna pour my ice cold water on top. Let's get our hot water, a nice boil of hot water, and let's see if it'll separate like this. And be careful because the water is hot, so you don't want it to burn your hand. Sounds like it wants to separate. Let's switch back to the other water. Put the water back on top. Let's try this hot water one more time. There you go. So now we're back and we're going to see if this is actually going to work going straight through from the bottom. And actually look at that. If I just push it down a little bit, it actually stands perfectly so I can actually light that candle just like that and it'll work so I don't even need to trim it I was able to actually just force it through from the bottom and it stands perfectly so now when it drips down it'll actually just come onto the glass here let's get a little tray so I don't have a, a tray but I do have a plate so let's just stand it like that on the plate and it'll sit there and when it lights, it'll just melt down. So let me go get the lighter. I know, I'm sorry guys. Today's video has been a little unorganized, but it's just a little something new. So then you light it like that and you let it just melt onto the bottle. Lid. So now you have a couple of candles. So imagine if you had like a long tray, like one of them sushi ones, rectangle one, you can line up two, three of them like that, have a little centerpiece. It'll look really nice. You decorate the glasses to, um, like I said, with beads, marbles, um, something just to make it look really, really cool and sexy. So that's really cool. Oh, before I forget. So you wanna sand the bottom. And usually I tell you guys to pull it down like this and you can sand back and forth. That's great. But I, I, I've noticed sometimes it actually scratches the glass. So to prevent that, 
what I've been reading up on is you want to wet your sandpaper a little bit and then sand it down. It actually prevents it from scratching the glass, or at least it helps for the most part. So keep that in mind, everybody. If you're going to um, sand down your stuff, your um, glass, try doing the wetting the sandpaper a little bit and it'll it'll work from there so as always everybody thank you for watching and tuning in thank you for being a member of the home pro shop bottle cutter club and if you want to become a member go ahead and join the facebook group we got a lot of ideas and great people in the community also if you want to buy yourself one of these beautiful home pro shop bottle cutters hit the link in the description below and you can definitely get one of your own and feel free to start doing your own DIY projects and sending us photos, showing us your ideas. And if you want me to try out a video and do something, just let me know in the comments below and I definitely will tackle it. As always, creators, until next time.